don't know who you messing with. I don't care if you roll with killers and real drug dealers. You ain't never met somebody as formidable as me. Test me if you want to. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Twisted Life TV. I am Poetry. You are here for another recap and review of Greenleaf Season 4, Episode 6, The Stranger. There's a stranger in my house. It took a while to figure out. Oh, I was not on pitch or key in that. That was horrible. Oh my goodness, that was horrible. Anyway, it's a stranger in the house, y'all. A stranger. And many of us have been asking the question, why the hell they keep letting AJ hang around us unsupervised like this? And we don't know this fool. We don't know him. Now, let me tell y'all, Charity and Carissa. Oh, we. Oui. Charity, most of all. Charity, I want to slap fire through her entire soul watching this doggone episode. Now, what I don't get is that Phil Dumas is really into her for real, for real, or he's still running game on Charity Greenleaf. We're going to find out, though. It's going to come up in the upcoming season. So, I had to, I had to adjust. Hold on for a second, y'all. My seat ain't right. There we go. It was sticking me in my fat meat. Lady May. Who in the heck is this new Lady May that we have here, y'all? We pick right up where we left off last week with Grace saying she's mystified about her son. Her son. Lady May is staring at her in astonishment. What, you gonna say something, Mama? I just told you I had a grown son. Lady May like, you got a picture? You got a picture? Where? Where is the admonishment, Lady May? Where is the chastisement that we are so used of you darling out? You said, you got a picture? Grace said, I sure do. I sure do. She go through her phone to get the picture, show her this picture, her AJ just stop smiling and cheesing. And I'm sitting there like, when did this moment happen? Because every time this little dude around you, he act like he hate your guts. When did y'all get this smiling moment? Anywho, May say, it has to be a sad story for him, for Noah, and for you. I just can't imagine. I'm like, so y'all really going to skip over that whole conversation for us? Because we ain't heard nothing about the what she told Lady May. But evidently she done dropped dimes. She done told it all. She even told this is the reason why Sophia ain't home. Because maybe now that everybody knows, Sophia can bring it on back home. I don't want Sophia to go home. She can stay gone off into the college that she was too early to go into in the first place. She wasn't advanced. But it's okay. She's um, Lady May saying with her good new good Christian self. You prayed on it, so I'm not going to be upset. Who am I? I'm asking the same thing, Lady May. Who are you? And where did the real Lady May Greenleaf go to? That's what I want to know, right? So, Charity comes in the room dragging her damn feet all over the dining room floor, dropping croissant bread crumbs. I cannot stand when people walk that way and drag their damn feet. Pick your feet up. My mama... Oh, Half of y'all people that walk into a Walmart with y'all pajamas and y'all house shoes on. That's y'all dragging y'all doggone feet across the doggone floor. First of all, your shoes probably too big. That's probably one of the reasons. You know, your feet ain't got no lotion on and they ash it. And you don't want people to see the bottom of your crusty ass feet. So you're dragging your feet in them slip and slide shoes. That works my doggone nerves. But that's Charity dragging her feet across the doggone floor. She come in, see everybody's faces like, okay, what's going on now? Ugh. What's going on now? Now we got to tell her. Charity, make sure you keep this in between the family. Who I'm going to tell? Everybody, Charity. Every damn body. Don't tell her Nathan. Don't tell her nothing, y'all. Then after they all leave, our bishop is recalling later. Later, um, the Grace called him a week after she left home. She was supposed to be in Chicago. What he said, though, so how we end up in Phoenix? Y'all going to explain that to me? 
She had the baby in Phoenix. She was in Chicago when Bishop called. And he was going to go get her to take her home. And she's like, no. Mm -mm. He thought his young baby was out there being strong. She was a strong black woman at 18. But now he found out that she was a lonely, sad, scared little child with a belly full of baby. That's why she didn't want to come home. Ashamed at the ridicule that her parents was going to give her. Which they not giving her at all. They have really grown. Growth. Growth. Shout out to Insecure. I forgot the name of the character that says that. Okay, so. Where am I at? Jacob. Jacob ended up in the church. He got a new name, baby. Pastor Holyfield. <laughs> he didn't even throw a punch, though. But it's all over social media. And now he got to go talk to Phil. I know Phil ain't going to be happy about this either. He probably going to be gloating at the fact that, that uh, Jacob is in trouble. So, Charity, run her. I Oh, Miss, I can't do this no more, Phil. I can't take down my sister. Run her ass in there to Phil's office. Stand up. Sit down. Mm -hmm. He's like, what? Stand up. Because when I, do, when I tell you this, you're going to have to sit back down. Me and Mocha used to do that all the time. We call each other phone. You, st you sit down? Stand up, sit down. We used to do that all the time. <laughs> so, Cherry is there to spill the tea. And I clearly do not understand her desire other than sheer jealousy of Grace to want to bring Grace down this way. What, what, what has she done to you, Charity? You didn't amount to a bag of beans before Grace came back home. Why now that, like, you acting like she stole your shine? You wasn't shining. Your bulb was burnt out before it even came out the store. Well, she's so happy to tell him about AJ. Grace got a secret little chat. You know what I'm saying? It's hers and Noah's. Yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. You know, and she gave it up for adoption. <laughs> what are we going to do with them apples? You know, Phil was just like us, the Dumors. I, I, I flipped out back and forth calling him Phil and Dumors. I don't know why, because usually I was pretty consistent with people's names. Anyway, he flipped, he's like, you know what? It ain't like she had an abortion, you know, and AJ's background ain't got nothing to do with Grace, so I, that, I don't know how that's going to help us here. You know, it has to be something that she did, right? But when he said to her, her look nice, I thought touching my damn head. I was like, no, it don't. No, it don't. Uh uh. Mm uh. No, it don't. Charity heard it not look nice. It looked like mine. A mess. 80% of the time in this moment. No, that didn't look good on her. That little pin back wig. No. Mm -mm. Well, anyway, Grace had been calling AJ and he ain't been answering none. I'm like, eh, that kid. That's how I've been feeling. Um, but she left the message. Look, the family want to meet you tonight. You know, so just pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, baby. Mm -hmm. I know you're home, baby. That's the only uh, Young Thug song I think I know. <laughs> young Thug and Travis Scott, pick up the phone, baby. That used to be, my mama wanted that as her ringtone. Anyway, AJ finally hit Grace back. His ass is arrested again. What's your excuse now, boy? What's your excuse? You're not hungry. You're not homeless, which is why you claim you was a robber and a stealing before. I thought that was a lie when you said it, but what happened this time? AJ? And why you shaking? Y'all see him up there? I'm at the police station. Why you shaking like that? And why you leaning like this while you on the phone? Sit your monkey ass up. Like, what the fuck was it? I'm at, he kept giving me, I'm at the police station. Like, he wasn't shaking because of fear. That motherfucker's tweaking like he going through withdrawals. I told y'all this boy got a drug habit. I said that last episode. It ain't just the alcohol. Don't blame it just on the liquor. That ain't just liquor. That I, I've been around too many dope heads and too many drug addicts to know his behavior ain't just liquor. But anyway, he like, um, <laughs> let's read my notes. My notes are saying, why was the phone receiver that heavy? Because he's leaning out like this. <laughs> anyway, that arrest to send him back to lock up. He's on parole, which is why his ass shouldn't have been able to leave the damn workhouse and get out of a private apartment on his own. They don't do that there. But anyway, he was like, your boy Aaron said you would do anything for a stranger. Well, pretend I'm a stranger right now. No telling you was pastoring me from, from 10 to midnight. I was like, the hell? What? This, this mug is in here tweaking right before your eyes, and you got the nerve to ask the mama that you can't stand to lie for you. 
And she like, I promise me you didn't do it. Do what? What he supposed to have done, y'all? That's what I need to know. Did he jaywalk? Did he eat a grape out the produce section of the grocery store? Like, he allowed his SATs? Was murder was the case that they gave him? What did they do? Like, you want me to laugh at you? You better tell me what you did. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. But you know she gonna do it. You know Grace gonna do it because that, that guilt of giving him up for adoption is weighing on his soul. We've been talking about that in the comment section, though. How people are upset at Grace for how she treated him. And um, and I keep saying AJ over fucking reacting. Um, we'll touch on that just for a second. The way that Grace has been treating him in her current presence has been bullshit. I'm agree with that. Um, you know, sneaking him out the back door. You know, you saying that you won't accept him into your life, but you keeping him a secret from everybody else. I thought that was fragging heck of bullshit, Grace. I did. But the fact that she gave him up for adoption and he looked her up, um, she didn't owe him shit. She didn't owe him a damn thing. I know our morals were like, damn, that's fucked up that she turned her back on her son. I even said it. It's messed up that she rejected him when he found him. That's fucked and messed up. But legally, she don't owe him shit. She could have left his ass aborted on the goddamn cutting room floor. That's what she could have did. But she didn't. She at least gave birth to the little motherfucker so he could have life, let there be light, and then gave him to a family. He could have ended up in a good family, in a nice home. He going to be mad at her then? He gonna be mad at it. Anyway, whatever. Jacob, he's at the church trying to explain the mayhem to Phil. Feel like whatever. It don't matter. It's what. It don't matter what you did. It's what you look like you did is the issue. So, bye, Jacob. You gone. You out at the church too. This boy done lost two jobs in two days. That quick. Bob say he gonna make it happen and do more. Say yes, sir, boss. What you need, sir? I got you. We're going to make it happen, sir. So he fired Jacob. And, he, and Jacob was like, you know what? You better get out of my office while it's still mine before I do something that you going to regret. You know what I'm saying? And he, like, you just got fired. It's at your office no more. <laughs> Carissa is not going to be happy about that. Mm. We live with jailhouse. They got AJ on camera, y'all. I mean, not his face. The same height, same build, same old nasty looking dirty sweatshirt. And his fingerprints on the counter. You've been robbing and stealing. And you got busted leaving fingerprints behind your dumb ass dude. Stealing drugs out of the pharmacy. That's what I don't get. Like, I mean, he was up there with a doggone sack like he was Santa at Christmas time. Filling that mug up underneath the Christmas tree. Still stealing the gifts back. Because that's what... He, <laughs> I'm like, really? I told y'all. I told y'all that boy on some kind of narcotic. I told y'all. You don't blow through money like that just drinking. Uh, and, and something else had to be part of the problem besides the drinking. Now... He been in jail for the last five years of his life. He went into jail when he was 18. He was living in his adoptive home until the day he turned 18. When his drug addiction started, when his alcohol addiction started, I would like to know these things. I know it can happen before then, but I would like to know these things. You've been sober for five years in the jailhouse up in the bean. And then you come out and just pick it right back up one month out of jail. They are moving this season along too. Um, I, I think something with Oprah Winfrey shows this season. You know, they kind of lingered on one year time frame for three damn seasons. And now they are rushing through this season. It's been some months have passed since all this season began. And it's been a month since AJ been in Memphis now. And now he got a drug and an alcohol addiction. He lying and his thieving and stealing. He knew what pharmacy to go to to go pick up the drugs. Well, Grace lied with a straight face on tape. Can I record you, ma'am? I remember the last time you was down here lying about your uncle, but we're going to see what you're going to say today. She said fine. She was pastoring him at 10 o'clock at night. Well, he did just get out. You know what I'm saying? He said, yeah, you played a role in modifying his parole agreement, too. Mm, what you know about this dude for real? And like I said, if that dude was on parole, he shouldn't have been. I digress. I digress. I digress. Anyway, Grace. 
She got some pull. She got some type of pull that no one else in the history of a black convicted felon can pull off. Move him across country to another state into his own doggone apartment instead of going into another halfway house. Mm. Well, she tell him, I know him because I'm his mama, his biological mama. And he like, you know, lying to an officer is a crime. Yeah, it is. You can get 12 years in Memphis for lying to an officer, but don't wear grace. They got so many backlog reports of people filing false reports in, in Memphis. You probably be all right. You're going to be good. Don't worry. Don't worry. So Carissa swings by Fernando Amable's office, who I'm going to call Pretty Boy Floyd from here on out, to go pick up the check for the house or the land being sold. That should have been something that was passed along during the closing of that damn property sale. Her real estate agent would have been responsible for handling those funds, the bank or whatever. She would not be going over to Fernando Preamble and Amable. Pretty boy Floyd. She would not be as responsible for going over there picking up a dog on check. And why wouldn't Jacob go do it? Well, Jacob didn't want to be in on the deal anyway. But okay. <sighs> she trying to blackmail Pretty Boy Floyd for more money. How much you gonna give me to keep my mouth shut about hope and harmony back in this deal? He said, girl, bye. you seem a little bit stressed. She said, fine. I'ma call my husband. He's like, call him. Because if you wanted to tell him, you would have told him a long time ago. Okay? Call him. She said, fine. I know we doubled down on the sale of the land and the house, but I'm out of my league and I should be keeping my ass where I'm at or buying some small cottage somewhere. But I want this big ass house so I can front and pretend that I got more money than I have to. And I really can't afford it because my husband just lost both his damn jobs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't making that much from the dean of the doggone school, but I want this damn house anyway. And I need more money. He said, don't worry, boo. I got you. Let me go and write you another check. It must have been a big amount because she was like, Ooh. panties got wet. Panties got wet. Where they do this at? Where did somebody just offer you another big ass check and then say, keep your motherfucking mouth shut. Keep your clown mouth closed or it ain't going to be good for you or me. Especially after you accept this doggone check. You know what I'm saying? Then he says, can I see you later? See me later for what? He said, because I feel like I'm not the only one who's giving you half of what you need. I'm not the only one giving you half of what you need, right? He says, I like to see what you look like when you getting it all, girl. <laughs> what? What? If you were mine. If this were mine, I will place at your feet all that I own. You've been so good to me. Actually, she ain't been good to him, though, because they just fucking met. But he said he gonna give her the world. You would never want for nothing if you were mine. Never want for nothing. Carissa, like, maybe when this check clear, I was like, what? In the entire hell is going on here? What is going on? I thought Carissa was going to be offended that this motherfucker just asked to, you know, knock boots with her or, you know, get close to her after she passed me off money. But she was like, no, I'm getting my Julia Roberts on. Shoot. What you want to give me? What you want to give me? Anyway, Carissa came back and told Jacob, look, I put an offer in on the house. And she swung by and we need to celebrate. Jacob was like, how you put an offer in the house? We ain't got no money. On that house? We ain't got to take money? Well, I scrapped up, no, I, I scraped up a few more dollars here and there. Where did you scrape up a few more dollars from? Now, he just got fired from that church, but he ain't left yet. Instead, he's sitting up at his desk about to call Tasha Skanks. Like, what is wrong with these people? What is wrong? The lady may call him up instead and say, I need you home. We got company. Company? She obviously don't trust this company because Lady May is putting away all the good silver and the china. She put the Fabergé egg. Yes, hide that. 
put it in the vault. Matter of fact, hide the vault. That's how she's feeling right now. She ain't wasting no sign. What company we got, mama? Grace's son. So why not? Grace's son. What? <laughs> Don't ask no questions. I won't tell you no lies. Just get her if you can. I don't care. I need you right here, right now. I need you right here, right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in, I'm in a singing mood today. I'm in, I'm just, and I'm all off key. Tell me who sing that song. If y'all know who sing, get here if you can. Just get here if you can. Yeah, if y'all know who sing that song. Put it down in the comment section. I'm going to give y'all a nice little medal or trophy. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do today. It might just be a 100. Something like that. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to drop a microphone in the comment section for y'all. If you could tell me who sing that song. I don't actually did a lot of songs today. If y'all can identify any of these songs that I said sang song today in this recap and review. I'm going to give you a microphone in the comment section. Yes, just for you. Well, Chris come back in like, hey. Let's go. Let's roll. We finna go celebrate. Jacob said, no, nah, we gotta change the plans. We gotta go to the crib. Uh-uh, nobody. Nope, not today. Choose me for once. Choose. Forget what your mama talking about. He said, look, it's a mercy. Grace got some doggone son that I don't know nothing about. Like, I need to figure out who this man is. Look, man up and be my god doggone husband for once. My husband. Not your mama's son. For once. That's what I want you to do. Are you coming with me or not? He's like, no, I'm going home to meet this mystery man called my dog old nephew. Are you coming with me or not? And she like, does it look like I'm coming? Well, bye, Felicia. Because Jacob left up out of there. I'm so glad Jacob finally stood up to her ass and walked the hell out. But she didn't waste no time calling pretty boy Flo up. Um, you got time right now? The check cleared. The check cleared. Okay. So, AJ over at the plantation. And this new Lady May is disturbing me. Her and Bishop embracing him with open arms. Oh, look at him. Oh, come, come here, boo. Come here. He got a lot of Noah in him, don't he? AJ looking at like, who the hell is Noah? The man that you called from jail and told him that he was his daddy. The man that you not pressing about being a part of your life like you pressing GG and when you not extorting for money. That man, that's who Noah is. And how long before Noah get her on that midnight train from Denver? Even on the midnight train. He gotta be on the train. If he ain't on the train, he on the bike. Cause he's taking a long time to bring his buddy in from Denver. Well, Lady May said, you know, I'm gonna walk you down to the little old bungalow so you can meet your cousin Zora. You know, and I wanna get to know you on the way. Well, while she was walking him down there, the officer of the law, I forgot his name, it's like something with an M, I don't remember. But he came in, he wants to stop by and talk to Grace, ask her a few more questions. Well, Grace, you ain't gonna be able to keep this burglary under wraps. It's not gonna be under wraps here. So, these people are very loose in the goose when it comes to AJ. Like, Sophia asked, walked game over to his apartment. She don't know this fool. And now, Lady May for to leave him down here with Zor. The one who, the, the, the loose, wild, and reckless one. The young, young, dumb, and drunk. That, Zora, that's who you're going to leave him with. <sighs> you don't know him from a can of paint. Y'all keep leaving him around these girls. When I went to, I told y'all before, we was doing our ancestry DNA. Y'all can check out that video on my channel if you've never seen it. Uh, we did our ancestry DNA test. And I've been contacted by a few people from there. One guy named Tony, my cousin. He, my cousin, you know, from Ancestry DNA. We found out we was cousins. We, hopefully, we real cousins. Ancestry will line us. Anyway, we went down to Texas to go meet this man. You know, I had been talking to him for months before we did this. Him and his whole family fit to meet me and my whole family. Even my cousins in Texas, they went along. My mama, me, and Kenan, all of us had some stun guns on us in case something popped off. And y'all just dropping this old ex-convict off around y'all 17, 18 year old girls. What is wrong with y'all people? What is wrong? I was very cautious. Why y'all not cautious? But Zora dumbass stay true to form. She knowing him for 2.3 seconds. And she's like, wanna get high? Wanna get high? What? I thought you was a Christian. You know, I'm a Christian, not crazy. Make it make sense. Like, what the hell does being a Christian? 
First, some fee down here getting drunk with him. Now, this fool want to do the drugs. What the hell is wrong with these people on this show? Anyway, while the cop in there in the kitchen, hard pressing Grace, Lane may walk in. What's this about? What the hell haven't you told me, Grace? Huh? Grace, child, go on, let it out. You might smell it out. Chris over there, pretty blood floor, is letting it all out. Drunk as a skunk and about to lay it all on the line underneath that man who ain't her husband. She gripping the back of his head too, baby. That's a sign that you really into somebody when you grip the back of the head. Yes. Don't blame it on alcohol. She wanted that. She did that. She was not ashamed. She fe And evidently it felt good. You know what I'm saying? Had the arch in her back and everything. I was like, wait a minute now, Carissa. Wait a minute. Well, at least Lady May started talking a little bit since. She started saying all the crap that I've been saying. You done lied to the cops for him and it's a possibility it was him. And if it wasn't him, he could extort money out of you forever just because he know you lied to the cops. Zora and Jay, AJ come bouncing in and high as kites. And Lady May like, you need to sit for a moment, son. He's like, oh shit, what did I do? Zora, get the hell out of here. Go on bounce now. Did you do it? Did I do what? Did you do it, sir? Lady, why would I do that? You know, I just been in jail for five years. Doing something like that, if I get caught, give me 20 or 30 years. That didn't answer the question. I said, did you do it? Oh, he never answered. He deflected like a mug. Grace, like, he did answer. No, he didn't, Grace. He did not answer the question. Lady May say, I don't give a damn about the criminal, but what I do give a damn is about you and your reputation and your appearance because I want my damn church back. Okay? Bishop say, bro, dog, just answer the damn woman. Answer the question. Which question? Oh, don't play dumb. You know exactly what question we talking about. Did you rob the pharmacy? He still didn't answer. I thought we was family. In defensive mode. Lady May read him. Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> I'm saying the same thing too, Lady May. Guilty. I saw it when I said the video. I said that was him. I knew that was him, right? Lady May say, um, let me tell you something. We all family. Which is why you going to suffer more than you ever had in your entire life if you don't man up and tell us the truth. I was like, oh, Grace jumped in. Enough. I will not let you torture him like this. Now, you not, won't let him answer the question, Grace. And in Santa's charity, shady like a mofo, she brought him a it's a boy balloon. They was fresh out of it's a grown ass man that your sister gave away 25 years ago, below. <laughs> Lady May, she's still on it though. She ain't letting up. She's like, she better hold on to her purse and answer the question. Did you do it? Okay. Jacob walk in and save his butt this time. Where's this nephew of mine? <laughs> Lady May said, when y'all get done with all this hemming and hawing and talking, I want him to answer the question. Lady, I don't owe you nothing. I ain't got to say nothing to you. She said, boy, you don't know who you messing with. You don't know who you messing with. I don't care if you roll with killers and real drug dealers. You ain't never met somebody as formidable as me. Test me if you want to. Now, did you do it or not? AJ bitched up and ran out of there. He hot tailed it. Scared his little butt on out of there. I was like, what he gonna do? Scale the fence. Cause that's all Miller need to do down at the gate is taste his little butt. But they, they, they let him go on out. They let him go on out. But I'm like Lady May. There it is. There we have it. Proof is in the pudding. And the Grace is still so naive. No, that isn't proof anything. Yes, it do. He acting like Michael Darby, just talking about the situation, trying to talk around it. All you had to do, AJ, say, no, I didn't do it. Whether you was lying or not, that's all you had to say was those words. Instead, he had to yell it out of there. Matter of fact, he wasn't even high tail. His tail was tucked between his legs. And Charity looking like, ooh, so Grace lied to the police, did she now? Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lady May say, look here. As a mother who has kept secrets, I understand your position. I understand your need to protect your child. But as a Christian woman, you better get your ass on down to the police station and tell them the truth. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 
What you gonna do, Grace? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Anyway, Carissa stumbles her old drunk ass in the house. Lying, say she been with Nadine. Say, no, celebrating. And Jacob claimed he about to go over to the church and wrap some things up. I didn't believe Jacob, but that's where he went. And uh, AJ, <laughs> that mofo did rob the pharmacy. I told y'all, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That mug really went behind the counter and took the prescription drugs. The prescription drugs. He in here packing up his little fish seal apartment ready to burn the heck out. Now my question is, I hope y'all ask the same question. Why the police didn't search AJ house? I believe that you was a suspect. You fit the description. Why his house ain't being searched for the whereabouts of these here say drugs? Make it make sense. Make it. So this little ungrateful mug just had Grace lie for him. And he was in the wrong. Now he about to run and violate his parole. That Grace vouched for to get him there. I don't know what she had to put on the line for that. And, and, and Grace... Grace was about to give him her car so she he could run away. Grace, if you don't let go of that guilt and let his ass fly like an eagle, you better. Fly like an eagle, you better. So, Jacob, he did head over to Calvary to go pick up his last stuff. You know, he is moving out of the church. And Charity, she had also headed over to Calvary too to feel Phil's ears with some tea on Grace, right? But not only did she bring the tea, she poured it down his throat. This heifer done recorded Grace, baby. Recorded the whole situation about her lying to the police. And she in her gloating. I know gloating is against the, the word in the Bible. That's one thing I do know. She made him promise to take her sister down, but leave AJ out of it. He like, cool, whatever, I got you. I'm going to do that. And somehow from this, she derived that he was a good man. See, you are a good man. Charity! You ain't a good woman, auntie. And then the kiss. I mean, I love a dude that like to kiss you on your top lip. Oh, but I hate that Phil is a bastard right now because I, he's a sexually attractive man to me. Anyway, we go back to the plantation and Lady May and Bishop in the bed together. I was like, oh, whoa. I mean, she under the covers, but it's a little bit cozy. And he like, you know, let me go. I'm getting a little sleepy. I don't want to fall asleep here. She's like, no, you can fall asleep here. You can fall asleep right there. I was like, okay, now. They're getting back to the good. Well, leaving the church. Jacob heard a whole lot of sniggling coming from Phil's office. He looked through the little, you know, doorway and see his sister, Charity Greenleaf, mad lip locked with Dumois. Wait until the family hear this. And Jacob, you better tell him. You better tell him. Oh, tell it. And I need it to come out around the same time you find out that Hope and Harmony bought your land. Oh, y'all let me know what y'all thought. Leave y'all comments down in the comment section. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to already do so. Thank you to all my watchers for coming back. <sighs> See you in the next video. Peace.